Here we're going to add uh, some fascia boards to the um, to the truss roof over here a lot easier and quicker than doing the parapet uh, with our sweep uh, in place sweep over here. So roof fascia boards, if we go to roof over here in the flyout, you're going to see down here it says roof fascia. So you click on there and then what we're going to do is hit edit type and inside of there it's going to say this is the profile. So there's a predetermined profile which is about you know three quarters of an inch by 10 inches. So it's a board which is basically a one by 10. Um, and, and we can pick different profiles off of here if we wanted, you know, one that's maybe not as big, but I, I don't, I like the bigger one simply because it shows up bigger and a little more bold on the screen. So we can see that inside of there. And those profiles are down in here. If you go down to the families and we go to uh, profiles, okay, you're going to see there is a, um, where is it? Uh, there it is right there, M fascia flat. So we can see we have our different profiles already predetermined. You can right click on here and duplicate this and make a new one, give it a new name, okay? And then double click on it and open it up and change the actual numbers. So if you wanna make a new one, what you do, escape, escape, is go to profiles, go down to here, duplicate this, make a new one, double click it, and edit the properties. Typical, very typical of all Revit family. So I'm just going to do an undo to get rid of that. So that's where it's getting the profile from. Uh, back to our roof, fascia. And then nested within that type, edit type, is there's that profile, right? Those are those ones that I just showed you over here under profiles. So let's leave it like that. Hit OK. And now we're reading what it says down here in our status bar. Click on edge of roof soffit or fascia. So I'm going to pick on this top edge and click and pick on here and click and pick that top edge. Shift middle mouse button. Pick that edge. Does its nice corners on there. Shift middle mouse. It also has a material. Click out. Escape, escape. Now that acts as one unit. If you click on here, if you flip it, you can see you could flip it up. If it goes to the wrong side and it goes above instead of below, just click on it and flip it down. Or you can flip it side to side, in this case, inside or outside of the roof edge. But for the most part, there's our fascia. And we can have a look at that in a cross section. And once again, anytime you want to edit it, click on here, edit in place. Click on here, add remove segments. Click on here, edit footprint. Starting to get the gist of it. Okay, pick on the roof, edit footprint. Pick on the wall, you know, edit. Sorry, wall. Edit profile. So you have to select the element first, then your, your context sensitive um, ribbon changes. That's the whole idea. Click on it, you're going to see properties and all kinds of neat stuff around there. Um, that's our roof fascia. Let's have a quick look at a cross section. Uh, let's go to our main floor. Do we have a section through there? Yes, we do. Click, click, open it up. Opens up section two. Type TL on our keyboard. Maybe this is going to be at 1 to 50 instead. Okay, we also take into account we're going to have a heel uh, in our truss again we could take that roof and nudge it up or down or change this number in here if we wanted to okay uh, and that'll move that roof up and down we'll do some changes later and uh, let's just go back to our 3d view and that's it so that's kind of our fascia and parapet caps save as project 20.